You know, kittens. Wakey, wakey. Hey, buddies. Oh, you guys need some water. Let me take care of that. Get you fresh water. There we go, fresh water. Gladys likes to paw at the water. So if she has any litter on her paws, when it gets in the water bowl. Hey, you can't litter on your nose, boy. Let me get that off. Let me scoop your box. Okay, let me go wash my hands real quick. I'm coming home. I'm coming. Hey, Mom. Well, she's already prone. I was thinking, treat time. Would you like to come out for a treat?
That's a beautiful lady. Can I look at your belly? Real brief, and then you can have one more treat. You look really good. Oh, she's going away to the food, so I'll split this one up between the kittens. Mom, you stole his. <laughs> Sorry, Jarvis. At least you got a good lick off of it. Oh, I forget they don't have claws. Don't chew my phone. Use that for chewing. It's your belly's for kissing. You are so fuzzy. I'll be saying goodbyes around around 8.45 in the morning. That's Pacific time, GMT minus 8. I'll be leaving around 9 o'clock. The adoption event starts at 10. The kittens and their adopters will be getting there a little early before the madhouse begins. If you wanted to come see the kittens if you're in the area, Show up at 10 o'clock in the morning at the Everett Pet Smart. That's by the Everett Mall, north of Seattle. The adopters are asked to let the kitten stay for at least 30 minutes, maybe an hour, so that people can come visit them, see how, see how cute they are in person. You know, you only can get so much cute through a webcam. This is 3D here, you know. <laughs> It'd be kind of cool if I could do a 3D kitten cam. I got plenty of webcams, and I got a 3D monitor downstairs and 3D glasses. Of course, the live stream doesn't support it. Yep. Say hi, Hal. He's purring. Oh, you can't see. Oh, he's purring.
they should become per monsters once they're on their own. And if you see Grant's web website or fan page, I think Eddie's going to be another Grant. Jarvis is look our hot house is looking at Jarvis, who's on the other side of the fan control up on the top of the what's remaining of the tra transporter, which is just a three ring tower or a two ring tower with three poles that they pretty much disassembled. They use it to jump back in. And he's in the box. Is he going number one or number two? Uh, number one. No poop. That means no stinkies. Yay. This is a confined space. Oh, no, no, no. Now it's poop. He changed his mind. Yep, it's poop. As far as healthy kitten poop, poop goes, yeah. So we, he gets an A plus on his poop report. His ears are like fanning to the side like airplanes. And he's done. Now cover that up quickly. They all cover their poop. And if they're too slow, other cats will come up. Other kittens will come over and cover it up. Or help, help cover it up. Nope, not covered up yet. Hurry up before that shockwave hits me. Ollie's going over to hell. There you go, Eddie. Cover your nose, Mom. Here it comes. Ollie's helping. If you're sensitive to poop, Oh, start fostering, and you won't be. Now Holly's going pee. Man, that's gross. And he's working on trying to go pee now. can't see it, so I have to give you the play-by-play. -play. Or not. I choose to. This is an uncensored view in fostering. You get to see everything that we see, well, more or less. If I have healthy kittens, you get to enjoy the healthy kittens. If I have sick kittens, you get to watch me care for them. But as fosters, we, as foster care providers, we love healthy poop from the kittens. And once I get, once I get newborns again, you're going to cheer for pee and poop. Because they'll be in the kennel cage and they'll be limited there. And once they start peeing and pooping, that's when I let them out of the kennel cage into this bigger area. So people start cheering for it. Yay! Rooting them on and everything. Believe it or not. If you're a veteran of past litters, you know what I'm talking about. Or a veteran of these guys while they were in there. Well, between litters, so I get the next batch, number 40, it'll be my 20th um, newborn, if it is newborns. Um, until I get my next fosters, if you look above the chat on the video, if you, if you can see the chat, you'll see the word following, and then 
I think 13 or something like that. Not so many other kitten cams are out there that I'm aware of on live stream. Clicking on that following link will display them all. There's the jungle kittens, there's Sarah's kitten cuddle room, or jungle kittens are, are under tiny kittens. There's a lot of them in there. Sarah has two older kittens that are like mine. They're about to get developed, uh, adopt, you know, adoption stage. Just click through them. Find kittens that are active. Kittens sleep a lot, so you just click around until you find us cam that has active kittens. Oh, we have the dingleberry. Dangleberry. Yep. Let me see, do I still have that little piece of tissue here? Nope. Come here, boy. Gotta pick your butt. You can pick your friends, you can pick your butt, but you really shouldn't pick your friend's butt. Kitty, oh. this thing is so full of tooth holes. Let me show you, before I step out, let me show you what the transporter looks like. After the kittens have finished working on it. This is why it's called the transporter because it kind of looks a little bit like the transporter ring who's on Star Trek. But you can see here all the twine was pulled off and this is pushed through. This is glued in place and people always said we could staple it back into place and all that, but it's just not really worth it. They're unraveling these. They're starting to pull up the ones on the bottom. I think after these guys, I'm going to retire it. Found it free on the street, so it's not like I lost money off of it.
this. Yeah, get him out. He's up here next to me. Okay, I'll be right in. Sure. No. That's right, attack on the cat. Get her, get her. Yeah, there should be plenty of food and so time to leave for adoption. Okay guys, enjoy the kittens. Have a nice night. I don't